Uh, one uh, weekend when my boys were home for, from school, uh, needed an oil change. Went down to the Nissan place for the little pickup to have an oil change. And uh, uh, the lady uh, was taking my paperwork and address stuff. I was gonna wait on it. And she, uh, she looked up at me and said, uh, sir, what do you do? And I said, actually, I'm a Christian author now. She said, really? What are, what are, you, uh, what are you writing on right now? And I said, spiritual warfare. She said, you're kidding. She said, I used to be uh, a heroin addict. I did heroin every day. My husband did heroin every day. We made our living selling heroin. And uh, one day, uh, one night, I had a dream. And when I woke up, I had no more desire for heroin, even though it's a very addictive drug. And I told my husband, I'm not gonna do heroin anymore and I'm not gonna sell it anymore. And he said, well, I am. And if you're not, I'm gonna divorce you and leave. And she said, well, I don't want a divorce, but I'm not gonna do heroin and I'm not gonna sell heroin. heroin. It's bad and it's bad for you and it's bad for other people. So he divorced me and left. And I moved in with my aunt because she's a Christian and I'm a Christian now. And and I said, hold, hold on, time out, <laughs> time out. Let me make sure I have your story straight. I said, you were a heroin addict, which is a very addictive drug. And you had one dream. I mean, I thought God didn't use dreams anymore. But anyway, you had one dream and you walked away from heroin, even though it's a very addictive drug with no more desire for it. And even though it cost you your marriage. And she said, that's right. And I said, mm, what was in the dream? Isn't that what you would want to know? She said, God showed me what it was like to go to hell. And when I woke up, I was ready to do whatever it took not to go to hell. And I thought, let me see if I can make a list of people that I want to God to give that dream to. Right? Because if God can give it to her, he can give it to somebody else and change their life. Let me tell you something. God can still use dreams if he wants to. I'm not going to tell him what to do and what not to do. Um, I thought he didn't do that anymore, but I started to meet a lot of different people over the last few years who came to Jesus, became a Christian because of a dream they had. So trust God, watch what he does around you, and keep praying because prayer works. God loves you, and I love you.